What's up everyone, it's Andy here and welcome to a new idea I had this week, um, the short videos that I've been doing, the game week previews and reviews, went down really well last week, so I thought I'd do a bit of an ad hoc video. I uh, wouldn't expect these every week necessarily, sometimes there might be a couple of videos a week, sometimes there won't be any. It really just depends on what's being discussed in the community. So, the idea is, I'm going to give my opinion, hence the video title, FPL IMO, on certain topics that the community is talking about. So today... We're looking at Harry Kane, whether you should get rid of him. I know it seems weird, 12.5 million, the most expensive player in the game, and yet people want to get rid of him because he's had two blanks. It's fair enough, that's a lot of money to be only getting two points and averaging one a week. We're going to discuss whether now is the right time to get rid of him. And the other one is Mkhitaryan versus Pogba, so they've both gone up in price now, 8.1 million each. Uh, Man United have obviously won their first two games 4-0, so they're looking really good. Both midfield options are looking really good, even though I said in my last stream going for both was... Uh, Probably a little risky. It actually now looks like maybe it's a good opportunity to make the most of their prices. So we're going to discuss which one of those you should go for if you're only going to go for one. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into it and discuss Harry Kane. So, should you get rid of him? Let's let's just do the short version. No, you probably shouldn't get rid of him. Uh, if you look at kind of the, if you're kind of a stats person or if you've looked at them, you'll see that out of all forwards in the first two games, not only has he had the most shots, he's also had the most shots in the box. Um, so the points are coming. I think he's been unlucky. I think he's hit the post twice in the first two games. Um, I can see why people are getting antsy. Uh, there's obviously lots of talk pre-season that he couldn't score in August and that Wembley would be a factor. Um, so, so far, both those things have obviously happened. It's still August. He still hasn't scored. Played one match at Wembley against Chelsea and didn't score today. But Spurs generally, I haven't seen the match, but from what I've read, did really well. He, again, he had so many shots and just, and just didn't put them away. Hit the post again. I just think that's unlucky. And you've got to look at the longer-term picture and think at some point, um, you know, that's going to regress and he's going to start putting those shots away. And the other thing to look at is the fixtures he's got coming up. So... Probably in the next six fixtures, I think you could potentially captain him about four times. And that includes fixtures in game week three, which is Burnley at home. Uh, and definitely game week five, which is Swansea at home. So Swansea are conceding so many chances. Um, you know, other teams are just battering them, basically. They don't really have kind of much of a hope going forward. So they're trying to defend, but they're not doing a very good job of it. So to, to cut it short, I suppose, definitely keep Harry Kane for now. I can see why you'd want to get rid. It's 12 and a half million. You can get someone like Firmino in, Lacazette, Morata. Sure, they didn't score this week, um, but they'd free up a lot of money for you to spend elsewhere. Uh, and obviously, when there's other players doing really well, Mkhitaryan, Pogba, maybe you just want to go for a Spurs midfielder instead. So someone like Ericsson's looking really good. But I think you've got to stick by Kane. And I think he's... I can see an argument for not captaining him in game week three. Um, obviously, Lukaku scored three goals in the opening two game weeks, and he's got Leicester at home. Arguably, arguably could be a better fixture than Burnley at home, but I just think Spurs are creating so much. Kane's having so many of the shots that you'd be crazy to get rid of him now. I'd even say it's FPL suicide to get rid of him now, because so at some point, those shots are going to go in. He's not going to keep missing. I don't care if it's August or not. He's not going to miss for uh, for much longer. And when he does, we've seen how devastating he can be. Now, should you keep him forever for the whole season? No, I'm not saying that. I've even said a few times that I can see an argument for getting rid of him. I just don't think that the time's now. So in my opinion, you should keep Kane for now. See how it goes. Give it a couple more weeks because he could be absolutely devastating if you get rid. Uh, so now we're going to move on to Mkhitaryan versus Pogba. Um, and do some chat about that, basically. So... Like I said at the start of the video, no editing, just me chatting with the mic. Um, so Mkhitaryan versus Pogba. I've got Mkhitaryan, right? So let's get that out of the way. I'm probably a little bit biased in this because I obviously want to think that I've got the better man. Now, I've had a look at both of them, and I think I think it's much closer than people... Obviously, you know, some people have already got Pogba, some have got Mkhitaryan, so they're obviously going to argue for their player. But I think it's a lot closer than that, and I almost think... It's a bit like um, Ali versus Ericsson from last season. You could almost just toss a coin and get the right answer. So let's look at a few things. Pogba is probably more nailed. If, you, if you're going to expect either of them to be benched, especially around Champions League, it's probably going to be Mkhitaryan before Pogba. But I do think he's more nailed on than people give him credit for. Um, if anyone's going to go first in that, in that kind of start 11, yes, there could be rotation. So players like Martial might start next game, in which case someone like Rashford might miss out. But I think before Mkhitaryan goes anywhere, it'll be Mata that uh, steps away. So maybe he brings Herrera back, someone like that. And then Mata will be gone. Uh, not gone forever, of course, just on the bench. But yeah, I think Mkhitaryan is more nailed than people think. At the weekend when we were playing Swansea, um, he stayed on right till the end. The others were swapped to try and uh, get the game won. Uh, I think that's also a key point here is not only do we look 
pretty devastating when we get going, Man United. But also, the Mourinho wants to kill the game off. He didn't make very defensive substitutions. He wanted to get those last few goals and make sure that Swansea can get back into it. So I definitely think one of these is a good idea. 8.1 million seems brilliant. So, shots-wise is where it comes down for Mkhitaryan. So him and Pogba are kind of shooting about the same, but Pogba's getting a lot more of him off in the box. So we need Mkhitaryan getting into that box a lot more. So, as a general rule, Mkhitaryan is going to be further forward than Pogba, but he's not necessarily getting into the positions where he's going to score. Now, we've seen some seasons, like the season that Ozil did really well in, two, I think it was two seasons ago, he, he mainly just assisted, didn't get that many goals, but he picked up a lot of bonus points along the way, so we could be seeing a similar season from Mkhitaryan, in which case that's, he's still a great pick. But if you're wanting goals, then Pogba could be the one to do it. Uh, whether he can keep it up, I don't know, because he is playing a bit deeper, um, and while he is creating chances, he's not creating them from very good positions compared to Mkhitaryan. So I don't want to leave this as a coin toss, because otherwise you wouldn't be listening to my opinion. So I'm going to stick with Mkhitaryan, I think nailed on wise, there's not much between them. Yes, he may miss the odd game here or there, but I think he's got the better chance of long-term sustaining this. I think he can sustain the assists he's getting. Now, obviously, he's not going to get two every week, but I think over a long period of time, he can keep getting them. So he's just got to up his shots in the box, and I think he's definitely going to be the better option than Pogba. Um, Pogba's having a very kind of Ramsey, Yaya, Torre uh, situation from probably three or four years ago now where they just seem to, sh every time they had a shot, it went in. They were playing in kind of a much deeper role, maybe centre midfield instead of attacking midfield slash, like, number 10. But they're still doing really well. So there's a chance Pogba keeps this up. But I think, I think he's going to do well, but I don't think he's going to do as well as Mkhitaryan, basically. So in my opinion, Mkhitaryan is the one to go for right now. Uh, but if you disagree with that, or if you disagree with whether we should get Kane out, leave, uh, leave me a comment below. Send me a tweet. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I think Mkhitaryan versus Pogba is very close. There's not too much in it. But I'm backing my man Mkhitaryan. It's who I backed from game week one. It's who I'm still backing to do the business. So, like I said, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. Um, let me know if you like this idea. Like I said, there'll just be ad hoc videos when I've got something to talk about. Or if you want me to talk about something, they're not going to be scheduled or regular or anything like that. We'll just see how it goes. If you enjoyed the video, as always, appreciate it if you give it a like. And if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. Uh, for any regular watchers, I'll be streaming on Monday after the Man City game to talk about everything game week two and a look ahead to game week three. And then we'll have the usual, or I say usual, I've only done it for one week, but it's going to be usual. Preview, uh, review of game week two, preview of game week three, and then another stream at the end of the week just to cap it all off. So appreciate you watching. That's been my opinion. Hopefully you agreed. It's cool if you didn't. Just let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Cheers.